Jeff Keenan here with some cold weather charging tips for your EV. Okay, so I just started a charging session and it's just above freezing. So lithium cells can't start charging until the temperature is above freezing. So if you leave your car outside, temperature drops below freezing and you start charging, then it's gonna have to take energy from the wall to warm that battery up above freezing probably to about 50 degrees before it will start charging. Now, you can see that I'm still using 12 kilowatts, but that's not all going into the battery. It's uh, a lot of it going into heating up those cells so that it can start charging and charging at faster speed. Now, the way that Tesla, Rivian, and others use to warm those batteries is to stall the electric motors in an inefficient manner to generate heat. You can actually hear them. And if you look in your app, you'll see these little orange bacon lines. That means the car is warming up the cells to start charging. So when your vehicle is parked outside and it's below freezing, the most efficient time to start charging is right after you use the vehicle because the batteries and motors are warm. And you won't need to waste that additional energy in order to warm up the batteries so they can start charging. So by using that waste heat after the drive, you don't need to pre-warm the batteries so they can start charging. Now another good way to use less energy in the winter is to precondition your battery before leaving. So it's gonna warm the batteries and enable the climate control if you're leaving at the same time every day. Now you can also schedule your charging to say start at midnight and then your car will precondition warm up by 6 a.m. Now if you do this and the car's parked outside, you're gonna waste that energy to heat the battery up. If it's below freezing, it has to warm that battery up, it's gonna waste that energy. Instead, like I said, start the charging after you just drove the car. Let me know in the comments if this makes sense. A lot of people just say to schedule the charge and precondition. Another good way to precondition the battery is to run your heater maybe 10, 15 minutes before you leave in the morning. And if the car is still plugged in, it's gonna pull that power from the wall and not reduce your charge level. And the best part is you have a nice warm car when you're ready to leave. The last tip is don't use a defrost for too long if the car isn't plugged in. You can pull 10% out of your battery by running defrost for maybe 10 to 15 minutes. There you go. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos at Tesla, Rivian, Wi-Fi, and tech products.